Hello mga kakognizants, welcome back to my channel and now as part of the discussion on the International Criminal Police Organization um, let us discuss about the different notices the different notices of in Interpol and also what are the different core functions of the Interpol so first we have the red notice what is the purpose of the red notice? So, kung niya kanus asad maka issue o grid notice ang Osaka country ngadto sa another country para ma silbi gitawag na tong there is a communication between the uh, members of the International Criminal Police Organization. So, ang purpose sa red notice is that to seek the location and arrest of a person wanted by a judicial jurisdi jurisdiction or an international tribunal with a view to his or her extradition. So, matawag na to ni siya nga, there was a uh, um, international warrant of arrest, maraming nga na ang tawag nga to, nga there is a warrant of arrest nga gi-issue, nga gi-issue kay para madakpan and malocate ang katong wanted person. So, mo communicate from other countries. Si, for example, na siya sa uh, batang na to, sa Japan or um, na siya sa China then maghimo si for example si Philippines to make a red notice so iyang ihatagan to sa another uh, si for example sa NCB sa nila, sa National Central Bureau nila to notify that um, na I wanted person na nakasod sa ilahang uh, territory and then Subject siya for extradition. So, yung anana, muna purpose sa red notice para pag-locate and pag-arrest sa wanted person. So, timan niha ang red notice. Next, we have the blow notice. Unsay purpose nga nung na-blow notice or nga nung maghimo sila blow notice. So, again, ang iyahang definition na sa adningon or ang iyahang purpose or ang aim ani nga nung mo notify or mo issue ka og blow notice to another state is to locate and identify or obtain information on a person of interest in a criminal investigation. So, ganiha, ang atong gi, uh, gimain ganiha about sa red notice is ato silang i, si for example, i-locate and to arrest a wanted person. Now, kung pananglitan, wala pa na, wala pa kay, si for example, wala pa kay na, na wala pa yung na-issue nga uh, warrant of arrest, then, ang imong purpose is only on criminal investigation and ang imuha is, for example, mahibawaan mo o makakuha ka information. Inig maka-obtain na information, ang imuhang gamito na na, or I mean, ang imuhang gamito na na ng notice is the so-called blow notice. Kung ang imuhang purpose, kung ang imuhang aim, is only to identify and obtain information for purposes of criminal investigation. So again, ganihan, it's really about to arrest a person. Nga rin is to obtain information to a person ha? for purposes or in the interest of criminal investigation. So, blue notice na itong gamiton. Remember, blue notice, kung ito ang purpose, is to obtain information in the interest of criminal investigation. Now, let's proceed to green notice. Kung green notice, it is to warn about a person's criminal activities if that person is considered to be a possible threat to a public safety. So, kung pananglitan, na, ang kanasig siyang tawahan na, is, kanang muhatag siya, o gitawag na to nga kakuyao o kios ngadto sa laing area or sa laing territory so tagaan mo sila warning uh, by means of a green notice nga so mo ni mo mo hatagaron ang other state nga si Mr. So and so mo ni um about his criminal activities or sa iyang background so i-inform sila i-inform para ma-aware and considered siya as a possible threat to public safety. So, aron siya mabantayan. aron makahatag o pag ba, prevention na dili na makakomit o crime. Inikabot niya diri sa uh, to another state. Kung panalitan nga, nakagawa siya from, from sa iyahang koan, sa iyahang uh, sa iyang state, nakagawa siya and naka siya sa lying state. So, money purpose sa green notice. So, of course, dali ang communication. Ano niya? Nga naman, na may gitawag na ito na centralized about Interpol niya. Uh, na siya siya gitawag na ito nga I-247 nga nagmonitor. Huh? I-247 na nagmonitor 
sa mga datas and of course sa mga paghitabo uh, with regard to the national uh, international criminal police organization so sa, as what i have mentioned earlier about the national central bureau nga sila mo ato ang gi considered as main office nga nag collect sa mga data and information para mo makaingon ta nga there is a uh, participation or nag kuanta nag apply ta or nag exercise ta sa gitawag nga or being a member of the international criminal police organization is ni function ta through kining gitawag natog national central bureau so let us proceed to yellow notice so unsay purpose sa yellow notice unsay uh, ngano monetify ang usa ka country so monetify it's because or for the purposes of locating uh, or to locate a missing person or to identify a person unable to identify himself or herself so ang purpose na niya is of course uh, palitan na itaw nga nakita niya wala siya kibaw lain ang iyahang uh, nationality so monotify inotify to to the place or to the country kung di na siya nga uh, unsang nationality anang tawhana para mahibawan kung unsa ang iyahang uh, identification Pahimaw ang kids sa iyang pangan, diin siya on sa iyahang, si for example, iyahang mga to conduct background, ba, background investigation for that person. And of course, di lang siya kayo identify sa katong tao nga dili makaila sa iyang kaugalingon, but also to identify also to a missing person. Ha? Ang imong gamitan ana is gitawag ng yellow notice. So just remember lang sa kanang kada purpose sa pag-issue ni mo sa kada notices. Aron dili kama sa ag and of course kindly memorize para masakto ang imuhang uh, answer kung pananglitan mo take na kaog mga exams especially kung naay mga topics about international criminal police organization next is the black notice on say purpose to seek information on unidentified bodies so kung pananglitan ingon na ganiha mo seek tag uh, i-identify na to kung dili siya maka-identify sa iyang kaugalingon. At ang gamiton is yellow notice. Now, kung panalitan manghuha sa information on identified bodies, of course, let us say for example, namatay na o patay na ako sa katao, dahil wala na identify. So, and you know the nationality, but you don't know the name. So, ingon ana, wakakibaw kinsa iyang pang pamilya, so therefore, mukuan o black notice. Purpose? is to seek an information about unidentified bodies. So, orange notice. To warn or of an event, a person on an object or process representing an imminent danger, and danger to persons or property. So, kung yung mong makita, makaingon ka, maglibog man ko sa orange notice and, arita sa, green, green notice. Nga naman, kung makita niyo sa green notice, the same siya. Makita ni mo, ay, to warn about a person's criminal activities of that is considered to be a possible threat to public safety. Arita sa orange notice, to warn of an event, a person on an object or a process representing an imminent threat and danger to persons or property. So, ganiha, ang imuhang, ang person lang ang imuhang kikuan. You're meaning of, uh, you are, we are talking about the person sa iyang criminal activities na there is a possible threat to public safety. While kung yung nag-orange notice, you are warning of an event na possible na mahitabo. It's because of a person sa iyang object or a process na mag-represent siya or might commit and might provide an imminent threat and danger huh, to another person and not only to another person but as well as to the property so mo na ang orange notice so source na to http so www.justice.gov.interpol so mo na tong source so next we have the interpol score function first serves as the worldwide information hub for law enforcement cooperation. So, as what I have said earlier, katong panitan may issue ka grid notice for purposes of arresting a person, 
for the purposes of arresting a wanted person para ma-extradite siya. So, kung wala kay gitawag na tong uh, coordination from another countries, so, makaingon ta nga dugay. Na dugay, kay because kung wala may coordination, so, bisan asa lang kay pasa But because of this international criminal police organization, which one of its core function is to serve as a worldwide information. So, kung naan na of course, gipractice naman ni Karun, dali na lang. Nga naman, na may gitawag na to ang central database where we can or where they can acquire information immediately. And, when such information nga ilan na ma-acquire, so, na may gitawag na to nga cooperation from uh, police or law enforcement officer from the Philippines and law enforcement officer, say for example, from another countries to implement or to arrest that wanted person. So, muna yung sa mga core function. Second, deliver state-of-art policing capabilities that support member countries to fight and prevent transnational crimes. So, iba lang story about ganiha transnational crimes, kanang gitawag na to mga organized crime, cyber crime, kanang gitawag na to nga mga terrorism. So, they're considered as a transnational crime and of course, kanang drug trafficking. So, para ma-prevent and to arrest, say for example, and also to eliminate those kind of illegal activities. So, natin gitawag na ito nga uh, coordination. Na? Coordination or support. Na ay gitawag nga coordination, of course, support para ma-implement dayon and ma-arrest o labaw sa tanan ma-prevent ang commission of the crime. Muna yung gitawag na to as the second core function of the Interpol. So, deliver state-of-the-art policing capabilities. So, there is, they are already capable to arrest a person because of uh, immediate communication nga ma-identify ang usaka tao kay para madakpan siya. So, part na siya or to prevent the transnational crime. Part is a core function. Second, displayed globally innovative approaches to policing. So, tungod kay Naaman tayo kitawag na ito nga support from another member countries, uh, coordination, and of course, ang capabilities and skills sa Osaka Law Enforcement Officer as part of the Interpol is ma-enhance, ma-enhance ang iyahang skills and capabilities uh, in approaching the so-called community policing system para mo eliminate and mo prevent ang commission of uh, crimes and offenses, most especially the so-called transnational crime. Now, let us proceed to the fourth course function, which is the, to maximize Interpol's role within the global security architecture. So, ngayong history taging ngayon na, dili lang limited ang function sa gitawag na itong international criminal uh, police organization, but also, uh, nag-provide dyan siya si for example, i-remove niya ang itong mga substandard uh, food and drinks nga nasa o sa kalugar nga iyahang ma-provide ang standard so appeal na siya sa gi, uh, gitawag na itong function of the International Criminal Police Organization dili lang kay nag sa kalinaw dili lang kay nag-prevent sa pag-commit sa Osaka krimen but also for the safety sa mga tao nga nagpuyo sa Osaka State mo na siya, usas na siya sa core function where kung na mga substandard product, most especially sa food and drinks, is ilang i-remove. Nga naman, it might, affect, it might affect to the health of the people who are living to that uh, territory. So, next is consolidate resources and governance structures for enhanced operational performance. So, kini, ilang i-consolidate tanan kung na mga defects, na mga gitawag na itong lackings or Itong gigo na itong substandard baron nga application na ilahang gibuhat. So, ilahan ang i-consolidate tanan. And of course, tanan ng mga resources para kung na sila gitawag na itong general assembly is part na sa ilahang mga agenda. Kay kung panalitan, ma-resolve na siya ng mga issue, then on the next time around, is dili na siya mahitabo. So, usa na siya sa mga purpose para i-determine sa nila ang ilahang performance whether or not naabot ba nila ang satisfactory level sa pinigitawag na itong uh, International Criminal Police Organization. So, I hope you understand about those different notices and of course to the different functions of the Interpol. So, on the next discussion, um, I will discuss about the ASEAN poll, including the 10 member countries. So, 
since I had already discussed also the logo of the Isyana Pool where you can found also uh, to my channel. So, ang akong continuation on the discussion about Isyana Pool and also on sa iyang purpose na nung naay Isyana Pool and ang katong mga member countries. Kanos ang nag-start of course on sa iyang objectives or is on sa ang iyang goal. So, with that, Thank you for listening and I hope baliko na ko you have acquired knowledge from this short discussion. So, dagang salamat ug maayong adlaw sa tanan.